Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about genetic cross activity. This will be the first quarter topic week 4 and day 4 and this lesson is under the Matata curriculum. Fourth objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to analyze each given scenario by using the Punnett Square method Determine the genotypic and the phenotypic ratios of the offspring The second one is to solve heredity problems using monohybrid and hybrid crosses And the third one is to appreciate the significance of heredity in shaping an individual's physical and psychological characteristics by answering the guide questions. For the lesson activity, provide each group with a different genetic cross involving the traits studied, example the homozygous dominant and the homozygous recessive. Then instruct the students to predict the genotypic and the phenotypic ratios of the offspring using the Punnett squares, and encourage students to discuss their predictions within their groups and justify their reasoning. Have each group present their prediction to the class and facilitate a discussion comparing and contrasting the different crosses. For the procedure, first is to divide the class into small groups. The second one is to assign each group a different genetic cross to investigate such as for group number one, the homozygous dominant and the homozygous recessive. For group number two, the heterozygous and the heterozygous and the group three is the homozygous dominant and the heterozygous. For the third procedure, instruct the students to use the Punnett squares to predict the genotypic and the phenotypic ratios of the offspring for their assigned genetic cross. And the fourth procedure is to have the students discuss their predictions within their groups, justifying their reasoning based on their understanding of dominant and recessive traits, as well as the principles of Mendelian inheritance. For the fifth procedure, ask each group to present their prediction to the class and facilitate a discussion where the groups can compare and contrast the different crosses, noting any similarities or differences in the expected outcomes. And the sixth procedure is to encourage the class to ask questions and provide feedback on the other group's presentations, further reinforce their comprehension of genetic crosses and probability. For the learners' takeaways, let the students accomplish the exit ticket below. 
And for the reflection and learning, have students reflect on their traits as individuals. Let the students answer the questions. Do you like your own traits? Why or why not? And emphasize the importance of accepting and loving oneself and traits.